How's it going guys? Today we are looking at all the Fedora spins, or at least a larger number of them. I'm a locked in Fedora user and I've not really checked out anything outside of their GNOME version until now. So we're doing XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, not i3 unfortunately. We're just sticking to the easier to use versions. LXUT and LXDE. I had some trouble with sugar on a stick, so not that one. Budgie. And let's see, what else? And of course, Cosmic. Okay, so Budgie is a lighter weight version of GNOME and it focuses on the more traditional desktop look. So desktop icons, taskbar, start menu, that sort of thing. This is probably the environment I most wanna try out as my daily driver. Sometimes regular GNOME just seems to be a bit too different. Budgie somehow just feels easy and simple. Fedora is a bit skimpy on the wallpapers. Surely they can give us a few more. I've seen these since forever. If I had to summarize, I'd probably say Budgie is somewhere between Mate and Cinnamon, so lightweight and more traditionally what you expect for a desktop user. Definitely worth a try. Wow, that's a bit weird. Anyway, this is Cinnamon and you can tell by the categorized wallpapers. Now I've only ever tried cinnamon desktop with mint, so seeing it more blue than green takes a bit of getting used to. Now cinnamon is very polished of course, but unlike the mint version, this isn't Fedora's flagship, so it's the same experience, but maybe missing a few add-ons and polish. And not just the skimpy wallpapers. That last sentence sounded a bit weird especially if you jumped forward and just heard skimpy wallpapers. The control panel and theming is great and probably the best of all the variations.
Cinnamon rates pretty high in my book if you're new to Linux. The menus and UI just feels so familiar if you're from Windows. And it comes with the LibreOffice suite and loads of applications as well. Righto, XFCE is the king of lightweight desktop environments. You can just feel things become a bit snappier on XFCE, but you do sacrifice a little of that ease of use that Cinnamon and Budgie had. Thuna XFCE's file manager is one of my favorites. It cuts out a lot of the cruft and just lets you access your files, but it might not be for everyone. There's a lot to love with XFCE, and especially if you like massive menus, which actually, unlike icons, can generally be a lot easier to navigate. XFCE comes with a ton of themes and window manager styles, but they can be a bit touch and go. Now XFCE is by no means as fancy and user-friendly as Cinnamon or have all the bells and whistles as GNOME or KDE, but it is super robust. It is sort of fixed in its UI language. And you can, as you can see by the dozens of admin tools, it comes with customize it to how you want it. It is by no means good for a newbie, but there's a lot to love for a seasoned Linux user. Oh, and it also comes with DNF Dragora. It's the DNF package manager. It's sort of a synaptic for DNF. The UI is just as stuck in the 90s as that. Alrighty, Mate Desktop has a special place in my heart as it's nostalgic and looks a lot like old school GNOME 2. In fact, it's a fork of GNOME 2 made because of the negative response when GNOME 3 was released. Back before GNOME decided to reinvent its UI, it was almost as customizable as KDE and looks a lot like a traditional desktop setup. And it shows here. We definitely have a lot more wallpapers. I can feel the old school customization nostalgia coming on, guys. Boy, this reminds me of the old red hat. Blue Curve theme days.
Okay, so we sort of brushed off DNF Dragora last time, so let's give it a bit of a look. It is definitely usable if you know what application or library you need to install, but it's still a bit clunky. Now the best thing, at least for me, about Mate Plus Compies is the Compies bit. Compies is essentially a window manager, which uses a whole bunch of fun 3D animations to just make your desktop look better. This isn't for everyone, but I'm definitely a fan. And in fact, I have a couple of videos about Compies. Here's also where I make a shameless plug to subscribe and like this video. Cosmic Desktop is a bit of a special one, as it's still in an alpha form and not really ready for mainstream. This particular spin did feel a bit laggy, though that might be the machine this is running on. So I won't make too many comments here. Cosmic has huge potential, but it's very much a work in progress. One of the best things about Cosmic is it has a toggle for floating window mode and tiling window mode, which, if I can get it to work, lets you try out tiling window managers without having to dive into something very different like i3 or xmonad. Okay, now this will probably be a Tufa LXDE and the next desktop LXQT are very similar. LXDE is older and I believe inspired LXQT, but is not being developed as much. On the surface and for a casual user, you can hardly tell the difference, but LXDE is built on GTK. So think GNOME or at least old GNOME and LXQT is QT based. So think KDE style UI. Both desktop are extremely lightweight, and I mean extremely.
LXQT has, in my opinion, an edge over LXDE. Not only is it in more active development than LXDE, it also has just enough customizability to make it exactly what you need, but not stretch your system resources too much. I have LXQT running on one of my secondary system that's a bit older, in the tooth, and it runs like a champ. LXQT has a nice categorized menu and you can modify a bit to make it look like what you want. Oh, I should mention that these lighter desktops don't come with LibreOffice or a similar suite installed out of the box. That can be a deal breaker for some. Righto guys, hope that was a fun little experience. I'm a bit of a Fedora fanboy, but have not really tried the alternate desktops until now. I'm probably gonna try Budgie in the near future. Hope you saw a desktop that you wanna try too. Don't forget to like and subscribe everyone. Until next time, 